Hi guys, today I will show you how you can easily create your own AI for, for example, your enemy. I have my enemy here, my player here, and when I play the game, you can see that the enemy just calculates the closest path to the player and moves to the player. Uh, it will be pretty easy, we are gonna be using the Normage Plus, which I will show you how to download it, and also Visual Scripting. It's going to be pretty easy, we will only need this much code. You can of course uh, use the Normesh Plus with your tile map, as you can see here I have a tile map with some colliders or you can easily just create your own um, ground for example from the sprite. You can have a uh, ground be uh, like some sprite, then you can easily just add some obstacles. It doesn't matter if you are using it with the tile map or just with some basic sprites. Let's get into it. First, we will need to download the Normage Plus. The link is in the description. You can just uh, click on code, download, zip. As it uh, will download, you can just go into your downloads and uh, extract the file like this, extract, extract. Then you will have uh, just your fol folder and you can drag uh, the Normage Plus master into your project just like this. Then you need to create some of your objects into your scene which will be, uh, some of them will be ground and some of them will be those uh, collidable objects. On those objects that you want to be either collidable or not collidable, you want to add component and this is going to be na navigation modifier. Here you want to check the override area and you can then select if the uh, area type is walkable or not walkable. For the ground you want to set the walkable and for the walls you want to set not walkable. Now we want to create the main GNOME object with which we will bake those areas where the AI can walk and where it can't. So we can create an uh, empty game object, name it GNOME. Now we need to add navigation surface. And also we need to add no mesh collect sources to D. For the no mesh collect sources to D, we want to make sure that we rotate the surface to XY because we are using the 2D workspace. Uh, then we will add our player, it can be just some square. We can do the same thing for the enemy. I will change the color. And uh, for the enemy, you want to add no mesh agent. And you also want to add script machine because we are going to be using the bolt to just uh, move the enemy towards the player. Then you would want to create uh, visual scripting and script graph, which I already have here. So I can just drag it to the graph and in the script. Uh, on start, you want to make sure that the enemy doesn't rotate because if it would rotate, for example, on the y axis, then it would look uh, something like this, uh, which obviously you don't want. You want to make sure that the x, y, and z axis stays on zero. And then it is pretty easy, you just say no mesh agent destination set of which object because we have the script. Uh, right on our enemy, we can just leave here this and set the destination to our player position. Uh, you would need to create a variable for your player. This player, this can be game object, put here our player game object, and yep, yeah, we just get position from the player and set the destination of our no mesh to the position. And now the last thing that I forgot to do, you need to select your no mesh and click bake. As you can see, now here we can see those blue areas where the AI can walk. So now we can try to run the game. Yep, now the enemy is moving towards the player. You can just uh, select the player, move it. Yeah, and the enemy is avoiding those obstacles that we have set uh, here as non-walkable. 
If you would want to know how I created this uh, whole tile map setup, I will record video on it soon. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!